Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison video between these three spot cleaners. On the left, I've got the Bissell Little Green Machine. In the middle, I got the Bissell Pro Heat. And on the right, I got the Hoover's Clean Slate. So I'm first going to kind of talk about the machines and show them to you. Then I'm actually going to go to the some carpet, put some stains on it, and we're going to see how they clean. Okay, so let's look at the solution tank on each one. Here's the, the Little Green. You're going to turn it over. It's got a line for solution and water. You're going to take this off. Put your solution and water in, and then slide it on. The Pro Heat, kind of tilt it out. Again, it's got some nice lines that are easy to see for a small area or a large area. That's where you're going to put the water and solution. Now, the Pro Heat does have an extra function. It will heat the water a little bit. Now, you're supposed to put hot water in from the tap, and then what that heater does is it maintains that hot water that you put in. But I did do some tests, and if you put regular tap water in there, it does heat it up just a little bit. So that's kind of a neat feature. The clean slate's got this handle. Lift it off. Again, turn it over. There's some markings on there to show you how much solution and water to add. And then you're going to take this off. And then that's how you add it. So one, one thing about the Hoover is it just says, here's the water line, but it tells you how much concentrate to add. Whereas, unlike the clean slate, it says, Hey, add water here, and then solution to this line. So that's a little better. And the Hoover's got a nice little handle to put on. Okay, so let's talk about the dirty water tanks. This is where the dirty water's gonna go. So on the Bissell Little Green, lift this lever up. Here's where the dirty water goes. Now to get the dirty water out, you're just gonna dump it out this. You're gonna run some water down here. You can take this black thing out, but you really can't get super inside the tank. Back on the Pro Heat. Now, I can normally, if I just have a quick job, I can open this up, dump my dirty water out, and go on. If I want to deep clean it, I can take this nut off and take this all apart and get inside that tank. And just kind of tilt it and snap it. Now, the Hoover's a little different. You're going to press this release button. It's going to come out towards you. And you're going to take the whole cap off. And there's a, kind of like an O-ring that holds it on there. But this whole thing comes off. That's how you're going to empty out the dirty water. But you can get in there and kind of clean it really well, too. When you're ready to put it back on, put it together, tilt it in, and it'll kind of snap in place. Okay, so let's turn them around back now for storage. They all have really nice cord storage, so you're going to wrap the cord up around. When you want to take it out, they all have a lever, that, and you can take the whole cord out. Here's that one. The clean slate's a little different, but it has the same principle. Now, the Pro Heat has an extra onboard storage for an extra head. That's really nice. The little green machine does not have any extra place to store an extra head. You just get the standard cleaning head that comes with it. At Pro Slate, you get the standard cleaning head and an extra attachment. Now, the clean slate, you get this nice big head, cleaning head. Comes off. We got a nice brush, nice vacuum uh, suction area. We can take this off. We can get this all nice and clean. We can even take this part off and kind of clean. This is where the suction is, so sometimes that can get really dirty. The clean slate also comes with an extra onboard attachment. This is kind of like a crevice tool. There's where you suck, and it's going to dispense the liquid. And a really small stream right there. Okay, so let's go over wattage. So the clean slate is 120 volts, 60 hertz, 3.5 amps. That equates to 420 watts. So the Bissell Pro Heat is 2.3 amps. That equates to 276 watts. The Bissell Little Green is 120 volts, 2.75 amps for 330 watts of power it uses. So if we go strictly by power, the Hoover um, has more power. So in theory, it would have more suction and more ability. Then comes the Little Green Machine and then the Pro Heat but we're gonna see how they actually do on some stains. So back to the two Bissell machines. So on the Pro Heat, you can take this attachment off. Now I can clean this. I can poke this off. This all comes apart. That's really nice. This is where the suction is. On the little green machine, I can clean it, but it doesn't come apart. It looks really close to being the same. They're just a little bit different. So the hoses on all three are just a little different, but the Pro Heat and the Hoover seem to be about the same. They're kind of a really thick nylon or a really thick plastic. The 
little green machine seems to be kind of like a thinner plastic. Yeah, it's pretty lightweight when you compare it to the Hoover and the Pro Heat. Now the Hoover does come with this attachment. It's called the hose rinse tool. I'm gonna to show you how that works. The little green machine also comes with the hose rinse tool. It just stores right on the hose. And the Bissell also comes with the hose cleaning attachment. So let's go put some chocolate milk, uh, some ketchup and some barbecue sauce in some carpet and see how they do. Okay, so I've got the Bissell Little Green, I've got the Bissell Pro Heat, and I've got the Hoover Slate. So I've got some barbecue sauce, ketchup, and uh, chocolate milk in three areas on here, and I'm gonna use um, each machine to clean its own area. So first, let's start with the Bissell Little Green. Here's the spray pattern. Doing a good job. It's got a lot of suction. It's got a good spray pattern for the solution. Let's get some of the chocolate milk. Yep, it's sucking the chocolate milk up. Okay, so the Pro Heat, I did put hot water from the tap in there. So let's try it out. So the Pro Heat's probably the quieter of the three. But it's got really good suction too. It's doing a good job on the stains. There's the spray pattern coming out. Okay, so let's try the slate, the Hoover. It's got a push button, turn it on. There's the spray pattern. Spray it down a little bit, now start working on it. The Hoover's got a little more suction than the other two. Okay, so it's doing a good job. I've got to work on these. I got to work on these a little bit more. Okay, so all three of these got the stains out of the carpet. I felt like the Hoover had more suction, but it, its bigger head made it a little harder to clean a tight spot. Now the Pro Heat, I was definitely the quietest. Um, it seems like it has a little more suction than the Hoover Little Green, but maybe not, I'm not quite sure, but it definitely does a really good job. It seems the most lightest weight, most portable of the three. Now the Little Green did a really good job. Again, with the Little Green and the Pro Heat, you have more of a concentrated head, easy to clean on a really tight spot, really good. The spray pattern on the Pro Heat and the Little Green seemed to be a little more concentrated, whereas on the Clean Slate, it was a little wider and it wasn't as forceful. Okay, so let's go over cleanup. Let's see how the dirty water tanks did. On the Bissell Little Green, you're gonna lift this lever up. You gotta dump it out there. You're gonna dump it out this little port here, rinse it out. So it looks like it did a good job. The Pro Heat. Tilt it. Again, you're going to take it over to the sink. You can open this, dump it out, rinse it out. You can take the bottom off if you need to. Clean slate. You're going to take this whole container. There's the release button. You're going to take this cap off. And there you can clean up the whole inside and dump. That's how you dump out the dirty water. So the Pro Heat and the Bissell Little Green have this attachment to put on for cleaning. And then the Hoover, you gotta take the head off here, and it, this thing is stored in that cover. You're just gonna sit it on there. So let's turn the Hoover on. You're gonna clean the hose. When I press the trigger, then take this off, that'll let a bunch of air go through there. Okay, so on the Pro Heat, same thing, when I press the trigger, a bunch of solution goes through. 
take the cover off and let a bunch of air go through there to dry it out. Same on the Bissell. Press the trigger. A bunch of solution goes through. Take it off, then a bunch of air goes through to get it nice and dry. So I hope this comparison video helped. Thanks everybody for watching.